Hello, it's Uncommon Fossil. Today, I want to present an updated Tyranitar EX deck. I presented a list not that long ago in a recent video, but that was put together, even though it came out after 151, when the list was available to view. It, the deck was built in, in the video recorded before 151 came out. Uh, so now I want to take advantage of the Dudrio from 151. Uh, so if you're not familiar with the Dudrio, it is 100 HP stage 1. It um, has the ability Zooming Draw. Once during a turn, you may put one damage counter on this Pokemon if you do draw a card. We need to get damage on bench Pokemon. If you remember Tyranitar EX, I will go over that shortly. And then it is a draw card, so I do like that. So it does give the deck a bit of an engine, because engine space was difficult. It only draws one, but one without discarding, uh, not bad at all. Um, obviously, as we build up damage counters over the course of the game, uh, we do become vulnerable, but the attack is quite nice, too. Don't forget that. Ballistic Beak for one energy, uh, colorless, does 10 damage plus 30 more for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So as if you get it there for a bunch of turns, build it up, it can be a nice single prize attacker. Uh, so a 3-3 three, three line there. And then uh, the Tyranitar EX, where it's, a, it's a very tanky Pokemon, 340 HP. Retreat cost is... Uh, four, so you don't want to retreat it. You just want to leave it there, let it get hit hit into a bunch, and not get knocked out for a while, hopefully. Um, and it's Lightning Rampage, a very solid attack for two fighting energy. It does 150 plus 100 more if any of your bench Pokemon have damage counters on them. So 250 for two energy, not a bad number at all. You shouldn't be getting one shot, so at least take attacking two or three times. So we can win the prize race for sure. Stage two, so a little awkward to set up. We play four of the Larvitars, one of the Pupitar one stage one, and then in three of the EXs, and then we'll play one of the single prize Tyranitar as another option, optional attacker to hit for Dark Weakness. Uh, we can use the route attack because we have Luminous Energy. It does 30 plus 30 more for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon, and that can be a good option too. You can take out something uh, and help the prize math by only giving up a single prize when, when it's knocked out. So those are the Pokemon. The energy count is pretty simple. A nine basic uh, fighting energy and two luminous energy. Luminous, we need to pet two of those. We need one copy of that on the dark uh, Tyranitar to power that up. So that's the the energies. And then getting into the trainers here, tweak the trainers a little bit too. Some of it was uh, based on a, 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 uh, a viewer who had a comment and suggested Gutsy Pickaxe. So I did think I do think that's that's worth a try. So the Gutsy Pickaxe, it shortens the deck, right? Because it has an engine, but still not a huge engine. So getting through the deck, getting to the supporters you want and such is important. You reveal the top card of your hand. If it's an, a fighting energy, attached to one of your bench Pokemon. So energy acceleration, it's a two energy attacker. So that is useful. And if it's not an energy, it just goes into your hand. So Gutsy Pickaxe, most of the time, it just replaces itself, just shortens, the makes your deck just that little bit smaller, hitting the cards we need that much sooner. Uh, getting into the rest, one Raihan, uh, two energy attacker, play basic energy. So Raihan, if your Pokemon's knocked out last turn, accelerate an energy from the discard pile to your Pokemon, search your deck for any one card. Very useful. One escape rope, one switch. That's kind of the default for switching options in most decks, and it works here. Four level ball. Level ball is better than nest ball. Don't play that in the deck. You could put that if you want more search, but all of the basics are 90 HP or less. And the... Um, Stage one, the Pupitar is 90, is level ball searchable too, so it's useful. And of course, you, if your bench is full and you just want to draw a card to hand thin things out, you can still use this, whereas Nest Ball is not playable. So I do like it. Level ball for a deck like this, all 90 HP or less basics, level ball is better almost always than Nest Ball. Three pass to the peak, we don't have an ability on a rule box, so of course that is very disruptive like that. Could go with a fourth copy. you got to cut something for it, but it could be useful for sure. Uh, two Iono for some disruption or some early game draw. Four Colorless Experiment. I like this a lot more than Iono or even Research because I need to build big hands. That's kind of the conclusion I came to. You generally have one... You, you, you have to rare candy and then and get Tyranna TX into hand together. And often you have one piece or at least ex access to the one through, say, Ultra Ball, and you need to get the second piece. So I like looking at five more cards. It just gives me, I feel like the odds of hitting what I need are better. Uh, just a, a random fresh six, random set of six cards with Iono, or even seven cards with Research. Um, I'm less likely to hit what I need, so I really do like Colrus 
experiment with this deck. Uh, three full face guard. I, I dropped, I believe the other list played, choice belt. Giving up that one-shot potential obviously doesn't help against EXs. Anyway, I'm a tanky, want to lean into that. So just three copies of full face guard. The Pokemon doesn't have an ability. It takes 20 less damage each attack. The EX doesn't have an ability, nor does the single prize Tyranitar. So useful there. Two uh, Super Rod, right? Put back some Pokemon and or energy into your deck. Two Xenias, another nice card. Oop, hit the microphone. Hopefully the levels are still okay, kind of shifted, trying to get it back to where it should be. Uh, Zinni, you discard two, draw one per card your opponent has in hand. I, the other deck, I think, played three or four. Cut it down to two. Zinnias can be very good, obviously. There's a lot of decks that have a lot of bench Pokemon, so you actually can draw draw at least as many, if not more, cards with it, and uh, discarding two is not bad. But, of course, you don't always want to discard. It's, if your opponent has a small bench, then it is a worse card. Four Ultra Ball, got to get those Tyranitar EXs into hand. The Switch, four rare candies, right? We got a rare candy, so four of those I think just is a must. And then the three Gutsy Pickaxe, which I mentioned before. So that's the list. It is working a little better than the other list I have. Uh, the Dodrio does I make things better. It sets up easier than Gengar for get, getting on the bench with damage, I think, and having that one extra card draw is a plus. So let's see what we can do this game. Let's see what happens with this game. Sorry, I was talking. I was kind of rambling on when this game started. Um, the deck has been struggling today to set up, and it has been a little bit... Uh, I don't know that's the build. A lot of the struggles have not been due to the build, per se. It's been the matchups. Opponents getting good starts, a number of factors. So, see what happens here. All right, so uh, opponent wins the coin toss. I will probably go second, but we will see what happens here. Uh, okay, have a basic. Have Culrus. Have gutsy pickaxe, energy. You know that's not a bad starting hand. I, I would. I need to get some more basics down. That's the big thing. I, I assume I'm going second. I missed that. Um, opponents benching some Pokemon, multiple Pokemon, which you usually don't want to do. But if they're going first, it actually doesn't matter. Um, okay, so oh, is this the one that's immune? Oh, that, that's pretty annoying. Which is fine. Annoying is fine. Okay, so gutsy pickaxe. Okay, I got an energy there. Attach energy to active. So uh, that's not bad. Okay, um, not bad. I have energy on two Pokemon. So if they knock one out, the other can go. Now they see fighting Pokemon. If they don't know what I evolve into, um, they're concerned about weakness. But uh, you know, I, the Amber Palm, right? I believe it's a coin flip to be immune, if, if that's the one I'm thinking of. A Blissey V. All right, a Blissey deck. All right, I like Blissey. Uh, top five. All right, Iono. It, that's okay. It was it was a good hand, though. It was. Uh, this one's not such a good hand. Uh, hmm. Nah, this is awkward. Okay, we'll see what happens. I, I probably then hit with the attack with the Pupitar, but I, I, then I'm gonna need to get really lucky next turn because I have nothing happening, right? Uh, so see what happens here. So obviously, kind of waiting and waiting and waiting. So Charmander to power up the Blissey. So a tanky Blissey, uh, tank versus tank matchup. See how well they set up. So so they're looking to really power up this Blissey pretty quickly, right? Um, so they failed on that. So that is quite nice. So I want to... Not loving this. I, I need to attack with him, I'm pretty sure does 40, but I just spread some damage, which I think I want. I don't know. The problem is that I'm only I'm probably damaging my bench guy who's going to be my attacker next turn. They're probably going to knock me out. That's So it, it, I don't necessarily want the damage on my bench Pokemon in this case. Okay, so full face cards doesn't 
re only for my opponent's attacks. So there are some that are all attacks, right? At least there have been in the past. So um, anyway, we'll see what happens here. Um, see what happens here. Uh, an Arceus too, right? Okay, so a bit surprised by the Arceus, I will say. I mean, it helps them set up their pieces. So is the Amber Palm not into the Apom? In which case, it, that doesn't seem very synergistic. Well, that's quite nice there, right? Quite nice for sure. Um, uh, what do I want to do? Do I want to force them to switch? I don't know if I do. Do I? I guess I do. I take a prize, right? So I don't want to... Uh, the Apoms are now one... Are now weakened as well. So, uh, you know, it's not great. I don't love the damage building up my Larvitar. Um, I took the first prize. Um... I have an Ultra Ball, which isn't bad. Um, Blissey will... Right now, Blissey does not knock me out, in which case I can take two more prizes. Um, uh, does he knock me out? I don't think he does, right? So, I uh, actually, I take three prizes. So, I mean, my Larvitar is down to being almost dead and such, but this is actually, I mean, that's not good on my opponent's part, right? So let me get rid of him and him. Get my basic down here, right? And, I mean, it, it, it's it's going very weird, very weird, this game, right? So I will attack. 40, and then take out three. I mean, this is crazy, right? Uh, taking three <laughs> prizes this turn, I believe, right? They So they draw a card. Boom, take a prize. Um, rare candy, that I'm liking that. So that increases the odds. So I'm drawing these cards, which kind of gives me hope, um, right? Okay, and so now I have what I need to get my Larvitar evolved. So that, you know, I might get Ionode obviously, but hopefully I don't, right? Because I also have the Dudrio, too. Um, so this is this is like exactly what I want. So they're going to knock me out, but I'm going to do... But I will knock them out on their turn, right? If if I don't get disrupted. So a very weird game. Uh, Pupitar was not what I thought I'd be attacking with um, at all, right? Getting some damage on the bench is good. Uh, getting... Getting my Larvitar down to 10 HP does make me nervous, for sure. Um, having a three prize attack, three prize turn with Pupitar, um, having taken four prizes in total with Pupitar, is pretty insane. So, um, see what happens here. See what happens. So they obviously knock me out quite easily. Do they have any energy? So they're not doing a lot of damage, so they're not getting a lot of pressure on, and they won't finish me off, even with the Charizard evolving, right? Now, if I were to hit a uh, path to the peak, that would be quite nice, too, um, because then they can't utilize their multi-prize Pokemon, uh, their, their abilities. So a path, oh, just like that. And I have the rare... I mean, I they, they don't know. They're in trouble here, right? They're in some trouble. Hopefully I hit something useful here. Um, Luminous Energy, so that's not bad. So Path, I mean, I'll toss down the Path. I will attach Energy to... So they're not going to knock me out unless they can bump Path too, right? So I'll, I'm just attaching their uh, 250, so I take them out. In fact, I well, I won't take out the Charizard if they evolve, but, I mean, hopefully they can't bump Path, because if they can't bump Path, they're not attacking this turn. Oh, never mind. That was game. I, I apologize for my, my my stupidity. I had game. So, um, <laughs> a very odd game there, right? It gets me a chuckle, right? Um, slightly taking 
Pupitar being the star in the deck, the unexpected, unexpected star. Let's see if we can get a uh, more normal game to show what this deck is actually supposed to do, because I do think it has potential. Uh, we'll see what, see how things go here. All right, we'll see if we can get a more normal game out of our Tyranitar EX deck. That other game uh, was a win, but a very odd win. All right, win the coin toss, so I will go first. That is good. Uh, see how things go. Um, getting set up the first turn or two is good. Um, all right, Larvitar. Hopefully he doesn't get knocked out, right? That, that's kind of the bet one takes. This is my little 70 HP Larvitar does not get one sh knocked out my opponent. Well, one shot. It probably, if they attack, it probably one shot. So, I mean, that's not initially true. I might attack my opponent with a Larvitar, right? Do, ten, do 10. Um, so, um, you know, the do, the do duos. Okay, so. So, I'll get another Larvitar down. Let's see. Take a quick look. So, a couple do duos. All right. Um. So not bad. I will attach to active. I have Colrus. I have Rare Candy. So it's a pretty solid start, right? One can't attack. So end turn. You know, the Pidgey does resist me. So that part's suboptimal. Um, so, you know, we'll see what happens here. Um, see how my opponent sets up. So what did they put down? That's the Charmander. Um, you know, assuming I leave up the other game, I, I don't anticipate on attack it, attacking with Pupitar like infinitely, but you know, it could happen again. It could happen. I, ideally, I one shot the uh, okay, so he does 40 if he's knocked out, right? I mean, yeah, four damage counters get placed on me, so which I don't love, but uh, you know, that is what it is. It's not, um, See what happens. So Gus, they do 20 to me. All right, see what I hit with Colrus. See what I draw and hit with Colrus, right? So I'll, I'll, more energy than I want in hand. Uh, okay, you, you. And what I want. I'm going to, I'll grab. Uh, Zinnias. Okay, so I need... I'm going to have to discard a bunch of stuff, though, which I don't love, right? Um, I have rare candy. I like rare candy. So energy... I think I got to... Yeah, get rid of those. Don't love that. It depends what I hit off the prizing, too, right? Kind of need to get a little lucky here. Um, attach... Do 300 other. They are weak to me now, so that's good. I will protect myself, right? I don't like the 20. I really don't. That could cause me trouble before this game's done. So, um, did not get down a path. A path, of course, would have been huge to get down. Um, so if they knock me out, they shouldn't be able to knock me out, right? They should not. So they, they will do 180 plus 20. 30, um, just look at my, yeah, they did, but then, and I get 40 more put into me, then they follow, finish me off the following turn, though, right? If they evolve, I do not knock them out, which is tough. Um, I have Gutsy Pickaxe, so that, I, which I can play if I active, you know, and I can accelerate to the Larvitar on the bench, which, of course, does make me happy. Um, right? You know, getting energy there is good, or, or, um, Oh, so I'm going to take one shot them. So that's, okay, Jock here. Um, all right. I mean, they're getting to get the Pidgeot EX. I, or no, they're going to get whatever, you know, I guess they didn't have, rare, they don't have a candy in hand, right? Otherwise, they should have played. They're not going to attack me either. So so I probably don't want to use Zinyas, though, right? Zinyas is, I think I got rid of Colorus, didn't I? And at this point, I should have kept the Colorus for sure. I was figuring, uh, yeah, I mean, I figured they would get things going better than this. Um, so anyway, um, I guess I should have said, hey, they have a small bench. Let me, all right, getting rid of my tool. Um, 
I mean, right? I mean, I would have to just choose a card. So getting rid of an EX, that's not bad, right? Don't mind that. Um, and I'm going to, so I'll be down to 280. Um, so we'll see what happens here. Potentially, if I hit energy, I can't use Zinnias. Um, but assuming I draw a card, I can use... Oh, that's not bad. Is Okay, so Path. I like Path. Path is good. Path is good. So I'm going to... Zinnias isn't good because he has nothing going on, my opponent, right? He or she. So, um, so let me just... Take the knockout. They're doing 40 damage, but they have to up the path, too, right? So they need path. So if they to have a guarantee to, to be able to hit, to hit me right now, they need path, EX, and rare candy. So, which, yeah, they're drawing one card, So, but the odds of them hitting that aren't so good. So, right, um, uh, and so rare candy, uh, but they don't have path. So they're not going to attack this turn. So that's good. I have Zinnias. I mean, yeah, I'll use Zinnias. Obviously, Zinnias, uh, I probably use Zinnias. Let's see what I draw into. No, Calrus is better. Calrus is much better. All right, so Gutsy Pickaxe, a rare candy. Do I, do I need the rod? Um, I don't think I do. I think I want Gutsy Pickaxe, right? Do, well, do I want rare candy? At this point, um, let me keep the rare candy because um, I might get another Tyranitar going, right? So let's see what I hit. So, okay, you're useful. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to bench him or not. So Iona, uh, I think I will, or I'm going to bench him. I will attack. I mean, at this point, they're top decking, right? My opponent's in a lot of bad, in bad shape, but I still want to make the smart plays because it's not guaranteed to win. Um, you know, they, they're hoping to draw into supporter that gets them something, so they're passing. So, um, ooh, do I Iono them? Right, that's the. Uh, I think I do because right now, I don't knock them out, so I'm going to attach. Iono does help them probably. I got to say, but if I hit a a, a a Dudrio, and I missed the Dudrio, so that stinks. Um, so I just helped my opponent, and I didn't help myself, but um, that's life, right? That is life. So, uh, okay, so do they knock me out? What, what do they do? They're at 180, and they don't knock me out. They do 60 more, so they have to do 280, and they're not doing 280, so... I think I get left with 40 HP. I'm at the stage one here. I do have a Raihan, so if I get knocked out, that this is not a bad hand to have. It's not a bad hand at all. My opponent, obviously, I mean, they should have energy, and if they have energy, they attach and attack, I would assume. Um, so we'll see what happens here. Um, they're playing it out, right? They have not given up. Uh, you know, if I could have gotten the Dodrio, then I would... Uh, okay, so they're bumping path. So, okay, they're being slow about it. I mean, bumping path is very good for them. Um, uh, maybe they can attack... You know, so they Okay, so now they're powering up both Charmanders. So now the game has gotten much more difficult. Now, they don't have knockout. They don't have knockout. Um, I'll be honest, if, if they retreat to the bench, I may attack with Pupitar, right? Because Pupitar actually finishes off the man on the bench. So, but, um, and I still could, okay, so they actually didn't get the knockout there, right? Um, that's a that's, huh, that's an interesting one, right? No, I can't. I can't retreat, right? So I'll throw down the path. I'll evolve, and you know, I would. You know, if, if I could have switched, I probably would have because, or if I had any way to switch, it would be very nice. But I don't. But you know, I finished off. I have Raihan, so 
if it sits like this, I'm in okay shape, right? Because I Raihan and I get, and I boost my damage. I don't one-shot them next turn, right? Because they're, they're, they're tanky, too. Um, all right, did they, what have they done here? Have they, they've used two lost vacuums, right? That's good. So what did they get rid of? They got rid of a tool and a stadium. So play Avery, that's okay. I don't play boss, so so Pokey Gear, they're really just hoping to thin the deck at this point. They have boss, so I, I know they have boss now too, which is useful to know. Um, so I have the Raihan. I might want to sit on the Raihan. I well, I don't know. I think I I wanna get another basic into play another uh, yeah, another basic into play for me. That's what I want to do here. Uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so this is going long for sure. Ah, well, no. I, I mean, this game's moving along. So my opponent, they really struggled. Path, obviously, is good. So doing 300, right? Now, um, even if I take out one more... Even if I were to gust up the bench, which I can't do because I don't play path, right? They don't take me out. So, all right, well, this is good. Um, I could Raihan, but I, I obviously would like to get the basic down without using and be able to accelerate to the Raihan. And that is quite nice. All right, that's very nice. So, Pupitar. Uh, do, what do I have? I have Tyranitar in hand. So I'm going to need a rare candy, right? So I probably grab a rare candy. So anyway, I'm going to Raihan to the bench. Um, I'm going to ta attach the face full face guard, so I don't think they can knock me out. But just getting someone else kind of getting ready to go. I'm going to grab rare candy, which means they should try to Iono me, which isn't, you know, I kind of, it's not the worst thing in the world because that means they're not bossing me, right? So I'm doing the 250 now, so that's not bad. Um, I have an engine piece down. I have a damaged Pokemon on the bench. Um, I have Tyranitar. I can evolve the Tyranitar. I cannot um, attach energy, though, at this moment, but I can. Um, okay, so they're gusting me up, which means they're going to have to switch, though, because, all right, well, they just gave it. I mean, that's game. So they kind of threw the, they gave up the game, which is fine. Um, I'm just, right, they're at 80, so I just take them out. I do 150, and that's game. So things, boom, I take them out. So the deck, uh, you know, work, you know, is working, working well. So my opponent struggled, for sure. I will grant you that, but... Um, it's a deck that's a little inconsistent, but up against, you know, like this last deck, which should have been a more consistent deck than mine. Obviously, Path is big, right? Path is big, I, and I've been playing the deck and running into Mew and stuff, so getting Path down, getting Path to stick, very big. Um, getting, so honestly, at this moment, is does the, the Dodrio make the list better or not? I think the Dodrio is a little more consistent to get the damage into play than Gengar, Um in large part, Gengar was tough because there's not enough discard in, in, in the game right now to pull that off in terms of item discard in particular. Um, but getting the Dodri up is not as easy as I would like, I got to say, too. Um, maybe I do need some other Pokemon search, capturing Aroma or Great Ball just to grab some Dodrios at time. But it's a deck that's got a lot of promise. It's tanky. It makes it fun. Um, it definitely... The list needs to get refined a little more, but I do think it can be a very solid deck. Take care.